Hi FlossTube, it's Jennifer, the Calculated Stitcher. Uh, welcome to my channel. I Let me take these off until I need them. Um, I actually, oh today is April, I think it's the 16th, it's Friday. I actually recorded a video um, on Sunday, but my phone said internal storage was full. So I said okay, so I started deleting some things off my phone, like some pictures I didn't really need anymore. It still said full. And so I was like, well, that's crazy. And my internet here at the house is like spotty at best. It stops and it starts. And so um, I decided I had so many pictures on my phone that I would just go to school and transfer them. Because I started to do it at the house and it said it would be 39 hours before they would be uploaded into my Google Docs. So I went to school and tried it there and it took 24 hours. It finally uploaded all of them. So then I went and I kept my videos and I deleted everything off my, all the pictures that I had uploaded onto the thing. And it still said that it was full. So then I was like, okay. So I uploaded my videos and by this time it's Wednesday. And so then I deleted those and then it said that my internal storage was still full. So I was like, are you kidding? So I Googled, I started watching YouTube videos. Finally, I found out you have to delete your trash. So I went to the trash, deleted it. Well, somehow I deleted all of my videos, not just like the floss tube that I filmed, which is a pain because I tried to go back and find stuff and I don't know if I got everything. Um, but I can't find any of my videos, like of my kids that I had done, my grandkid, I, nothing. So I'm a little sad about that, but I'm hoping it's there somewhere and one of my children can tell me where. So anyway, so I'm not sure if I'm going to say everything I need to say because I can't remember. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I can't remember if it's something I said, the video I filmed that I deleted. Or was it the one before that? Because I was so proud of myself because it's been every two weeks and I filmed and now it's been three weeks because I'm a ding dong when it comes to technology. Anyway, okay, I'm going to start today with my whips. The first whip I'm going to show you is the one that I just, um, I had to finish. Woohoo! So I got to start another for Americana April and uh, it's I didn't really start it because I started this one. Now, this is where the glasses come into play. This one I started in Jubilant June last year. This is Salute to Abigail, and it is in this Blackbird Designs book, Sweet Land of Liberty. And I want to do everything in this book, and I think everybody says that. Um, I'm sorry about the glare on my glasses, but I have windows right in front of me. I'm in my front bedroom. Um, this is where I do my paper crafting. You can see my journal stuff is on the bed. So it's a very small bedroom. Um, but so my son is in the other room. And if I do this in my room, then he can hear me very clearly. And I don't want to um, hear him snickering at me. So I'm going to do it in here. Anyway, so it comes from this book. And... Um, I don't show anything I'm not supposed to. I did convert the floss because when I started this, the it's silken colors and the um, cross stitch store in San Antonio didn't have the ones that I needed or they didn't have them at all. I can't remember. So I changed mine to some, I just like walked around the store last year. <clears throat> well, actually it was before that. I think I kitted it up in 20... 19 or 2018 though it has to be 19 because I just started stitching in 2018 so I just picked out these flosses and I thought they look wonderful so these are the two blues and I picked this one's a dinky dies out of the blues out of the blue and this one's a dinky die down under blues and so those are the two blues that I'm using and then because it only calls for four color four colors. Four colors. One, two, three, four. Yes. This is the um, kind of cream color. And this one is an NPI. And then I haven't decided on the red yet just because 
I haven't gotten to the red and I just kind of wanted to wait and see and see which one I liked better. I picked out NPI 503 and then this one is a Dinky Dyes Shades of Wine. I like this one because it's variegated. Mm, excuse me. So we'll see when I get there. But again, I started this June 20th of 2020. So during my jubilant June. And I only had a couple of stitches in it. Like, well, actually, I'll show you what I did. So when I first started it, I started it on 36 count meadow rue linen. And this is how much, well, I had a little less than this. And what happened was when I started back on it a few days ago, I was like, oh my gosh, those X's are so big. I can't take it. I just can't take it. And so, I mean, I know they're not, but to me, they're just so big. It's fine. Whatever. So then I thought, okay, but I like the color. So let me try it over one. So here's my over one, but on 36 count over one, that's like 72 count, which is fine, but this thread is too thick then. I would need to use like a 100-3 or a silk uh, suasafine. So I finally, after hemming and hawing for an hour and wasting stitching time, I told myself, just pick out some other fabric, which I'm glad I did because now I love the, the color. I mean, this color is pretty, but this is what I ended up picking out. And, oh, well, how about we move our thread so you can see? That would be nice. <laughs> oh, I like that so much better. So, so, so much better. And I love this color. So this is the Meadow Rue. And then this one, what is this one? Is this Havana? Hold on. This is something I should know. Mocha. 46 count mocha. And I like this so much better. Isn't that pretty? And I love the colors on here. So all I need to do now is to decide which red I like best on here. And we'll see when I get to it. Like I said, I've only been stitching on it for a couple of days since I had that finish. So another one that my start, I showed all of this. Well, I didn't show that because I hadn't started it. Oh, you can see me in that window and that mirror. Sorry, in my armoire. Um, April 1st, I had planned as my um, monthly start because I told myself I could start one new thing every month. And I had been planning to start this for a long time before um, whomever came up with it came up with Americana April. So I've wanted to start Springfield 1817 Sampler by Twin Peak Primitives ever since it came out. And I showed in a previous video how I had ordered the uh, fabric and the an NPI conversion that Barbara at Keepsakes in Cincinnati, Ohio did for me. And these are the NPI colors. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I love this blue. I love blue. I love blue and I love red. Those are my favorites. So anyway, so these are the colors. Now, like I showed in my other ones, I usually have cards and I punch the hole and I put the floss on it and that's fine. But I found with my NPIs when I did that before, they seem to be shredding every time I took them off the card. And I don't like the bags. I find them to be cumbersome. So I came up with this idea and this is just, um, these are those little round plastic circles that you get them like you can get them at Hobby Lobby in the drapery section <laughs> like for curtains you know like if you were making a Roman shade I think they're called you use these for the to lace the cord that pulls them up and down anyway doesn't matter I use those because they are they don't have a rough edge on them they're just smooth. And so when I pull the silk on and off, it doesn't affect the silk at all. And then what I did was I just stapled the uh, paper tube from the NPI and punched a hole. I mean, it's not very pretty, but it's, it's utilitarian, which is what I needed. So anyway, so this was my solution 
Um, if anybody has a better solution, let me know because I like them on a ring. I enjoy this and the paper, I just couldn't seem to get them. My dinky dies don't seem to shred as much as my MPIs, but anyway, I mean, they're, they're great. That's it's nothing against them. I love NPI. So anyway, so this, I've only got to stitch on it a few days because I've been trying to do Americana April, but this was my start. And this is on 46 count linen and the color is cream. That's what, wait, I have a paper. Oh, I may have dropped it. Keepsake sent me a paper pinned to it and it just said, 46 count cream linen. And like I said, they, they kitted it up for me, but I really think this is pretty. I can't wait to get back to this. It's just gorgeous. So that was my April 1st start. That one actually is a start. Then I had a finish and then that's all of the whips I have, unfortunately, but time is flying. So this was, I started back in Jubilant in June and I think 2019 and I had these two flowers and then a little bit of the flag completed and I needed to finish the bird and then this flower over here and I finished it and here it is this is on 40 count raw linen and it is so pretty it's just so pretty I can't really see I hope you can see it let me peek down Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I did finish this. I had a few people that mentioned doing a drum, and I think that's a great idea. And um, I want to try to do it around the paper mache box, but if I find, I haven't even read the directions. If I find them too confusing, then I may just try to do the drum. You know, bonus tutorial, try to do the drum. Anyway, so I have that one finished and I'm very excited that I have a finish because I never have finishes. So I have that. Um, now, I also have a non cross stitch whip and that's my journal. And thank you so much for all your kind words. I really enjoy journaling. It's a, um, it's a craft that you see immediate not feedback, but you see immediate progress uh, very quickly, I find. And so anyway, and if I only have like 10 minutes to craft journaling, I can get the most done. And so that's what I'll do when I just have a small time. Um, everybody was just very, very kind and liked my tutorial. And that was just so, so nice. So the cover of this was blue and I took a napkin that was white with blue thought, blue flowers and I decoupaged it and I did it so it was kind of bumbly and had wrinkles like me and um, so this is the back and then this is the front so what I did on the front was this is actually a stencil and I took something called matte medium well no texture paste I'm sorry it's texture paste so this is what I used and I laid the stencil on top and then I used one of these little um, artist spatulas and I just went over like this and layered it up. Then I let it dry and then I did another layer and then I let it dry and then I just painted it. Um, these colors I just pulled from this. This was fabric. I don't really like the spine, but I'm, I think I'm going to be okay with it. I painted the spine white so you couldn't see the blue through the fabric. These are actually two dresses that my daughter, when she was rushing the sorority, she had. And um, she wasn't ever going to wear them again. She was never going to wear them again. I'm like slurring my words. But this is like embroidery, and I thought that was so beautiful. So I was pulling the yellow and the reds out. I was trying to pull them out into here. And then this, I just stamped the year and put it inside this little metal uh, book plate. And I got this from Amazon, the little metal. And then I've put the metal corners here. I haven't done them on the back yet because you can't do them or the way I'm doing it until I add this paper. So I need to add the, this paper to the back and then I can put them on. So 
anyway, so this is part of my, one of my whips. So I thought I'd include that. I have to show you really quickly. Look at these little dresses I made out of paper. Aren't those cute? They're just paper. I made this one out, this hanger out of a paper clip. That's so cute. Anyway, okay. So that was a whip. Let me put it over here with my journal stuff and put my supplies back so they're not in my way. Okay, so now kind of always is the largest part of my video and this, these are my, this is my haul. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of haul this week, but I had a bunch of things that I have ordered all started coming in last week. And so like I paid for them a long time ago. So it's like now all of a sudden they're here. It's like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. So I did go to the Tim Smith's wife, um, last weekend and I filmed and it was in that video that I deleted. So then I went back today because she had a couple of charts that I ordered and um, I didn't video today because I had my son with me and I figured he didn't want me to do that. So I went with my mom. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so these, and now I've got them mixed up and I can't remember from which store each of these came. If I can remember, I'll let you know. Some of them I know, but um, this is Moho Stitches Take Wing and I love it because it looks... Uh, well, I guess it is a Quaker style and I like that. And then I've ordered this twice. I know one of them came from Kitten Stitcher and I think the other one came from Needle Case Goodies. So, uh, Stacy Nash Primitives, Be Kind Sampler. So I'll have to give one of those away. Then this came from Kitten Stitcher. I can see because it has her little sticker inside that I got to save for my journals. Um, Fox and Rabbit designs. I love Fox and Rabbit. Um, I love their, their linen and I love their charts. So this one is just gorgeous. So I can't wait to, and this one calls for DMC. So I'm really excited because I'm going to go pick these up from, um, Hobby Lobby next time I go. This is from Shakespeare's Peddler. This was a kit, um, floral heart kit, and it came with all the stuff back here also. So I thought that would be a nice one to stitch. Then these I showed in the last video because you can see I got the floss while I was at the Tim Smith's Wife. So um, it is Lucy V. Moore. I saw this, I don't know, a couple of years ago probably on um, Farm Girl's channel. And I think it's gorgeous. And I've wanted it for two years. And why I hadn't gotten it, I don't know. I mean, usually my I have no self-control, so I don't know how I did that. Um, but I just, I just love it. Anything with an American flag, I just really do love. So I may actually start this one. I haven't decided yet. But I do have all the floss and I have so much linen that that should not be an issue. So that one, I um, I didn't really, I guess, get it up. I just got the threads when I was at the Tim Smith's Wife. Another book that I got was Souvenirs of Summer. And I think I got this one from Kitten Stitcher also. And it's, of course, Blackbird Designs new release. And I bought the thread floss, excuse me, wrong wrong hobby. Uh, for this one, that's my favorite one. I mean, I love them all, but, uh, this is the first one I want to do. And then I also got the floss for this one right here. So I love both of those. So my floss, I'll just put them back in here. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to start matching up, um, uh, my linen to the ones that I have all the floss for which I have all the floss. This one, um, I've wanted this one since, let me think. Don't you hate when you can't come up with someone's name? Lives in Florida. Um, oh darn, it's fine. I'll think for a name in a minute. Uh, Isabella Fox, when she showed it on her cross stitch channel, I love this. So I got the floss 
Um, the only one I'm missing is I need two forest glades and a holly berry. And I've looked online. I've looked at the Tinsmith's Wife. And they didn't have it again today when I went. So I'm still on the hunt for those uh, flosses. But other than that, um, oh, I almost had it. I almost had her name. I can see her face. She has beautiful samplers behind her. You're yelling her name at me and I can't think of what it is. It's fine. Okay, I'll think of it. Just give me a second. All right, this one, I love the sentiment on here. This is um, Care Child Samplings, Stitcher's Pray, Prayer, Stitcher's Prayer, Stitcher's Prayer, Jennifer. I love the blue. I picked up the floss for this today at Tim Smith's Wife. And this one... I don't know how I've met. Look, you can see my, in my, this is my computer in front of me. I probably should turn that off. It's getting dark outside all of a sudden. Um, oh, probably not. That's some good light I had going. Anyway, I don't know how I had missed this. This is, okay, I'm just going to take it out. Because I'm going to take it out anyway. Okay. I don't know. Oh, hold on. There's my son. Did you need me? Okay. I told him I was videoing, but it looks like it's going to start raining. It got dark. I hope you can still see. Um, this is Plum Street Sampler Betsy's house. This is from, let me look on the back, 2013. Now, I wasn't stitching back then, so I'm going to say that's why I didn't know about it. But I got the floss for this one today also. Except Wood Trail. And Grecian Gold. So, and I looked online. Couldn't find either one of those either. So, eventually, it's the Gentle Arts. And I know everybody's having difficulty, so it's not like I need it right this second. Um, this one is Plum Street Samplers lab Labor for Learning, and as a teacher, I think that is just perfect. So, I got the, no, I didn't buy that one. I told myself I had to stop. That was enough, I told myself. Okay, uh, Katrina, and then I don't know how you say this last name, or how you say that. This is Carriage House Samplings, and there's something about this that reminds me of um, angles in geometry, and so it really speaks to me. I really like this one, like, a lot. This is a uh, cause for DMC, so this is another one that I'm going to take and pick up the floss. And then this one also calls for DMC, I think. Yes. So, this one is Whittlesford Cottage, and this is Karen Kluba and of Rosewood Manor, and it says it's the first in a series of three, and so I'm assuming the others aren't out because it says it's 2021, so I'm assuming that this was like the release maybe at um, Expo, and then the others will be coming in the future. I love that one, too. Um, then, I have stuff on the bed over there. Okay. I got this one. This is from the Tin Smith's Wife. I've never seen this before or even heard of this company. So that may be something you've heard of, but this is called Pennsylvania Dutch Sampler. And this is the company. Willow Hill Samplings. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. And it calls, of course, it's monochromatic. It calls for one color. And it calls for cinnamon, general arts. Then I got this at the Tin Smith's Wife. A Reflet de Soie. I never say that right. Uh, I hope that's not the face that YouTube picks, because they pick some winners, let me tell you. Um, Marie Cornu. I love this horse. Isn't that pretty? I mean, I love all, look at the bird and this moth, even this, these letters right here. Oh, and that border. Look at that sweet, sweet border. So I got that. Um, this Lottie Da. 
I think this one actually came from Kitten Stitcher. Frances Poole. This is Brenda Gervais. It's one of her older ones. Let me see if it says on the back. I don't see a date. I'm not sure. So, but I know it's one of her older ones, but I found this on Kitten Stitcher and it's really pretty. I don't know what floss because it's, oh yeah, it is on the back. Uh, it has some weeks, gentle arts. So I would like to kit that one up because I think the colors are beautiful. This is Anne Dickinson and with thy needle and thread. I'm trying to get it. Oh, there we go. Without too much glare. It's a pain to take them out and put them back in, especially when you have so many. This is um, Jane Plenderleith. Plen here you go. I'll show you right here. This one is Needlework Press, and I think it's so pretty. Here's the antique and then the reproduction. This one calls for weeks. This one, I've always wanted to do a sampler with uh, Solomon's Temple on it. And so this is Hewlett, Sampler, Hewlett Hill Samplers. And I would like to stitch this one very soon, but I'm doing so many other things. And it's called Margaret Woodcock. And I think I got this one from Kitten Stitcher. In my last video that I recorded that I erased, I said I think I paid for her um, mortgage last month because... Luckily, I haven't ordered anything in quite a while. So, this one is Lucy Kirby 1805 Straight School English Sampler um, Gentle Pursuit Designs. And I really love this blue. I love blue in a sampler like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, love red. But when people use blue, it's just super, super gorgeous. Okay, this is Scarlet Letter Jane Moore. Look at this house. This is, there we go. By the Scarlet Letter, Jane Moore. Then, these are older ones, I think. But, uh, so I, I know I got these from Kitten Stitcher. This one is called 1890 House Sampler. Look at that. Look at that flag. Look at that house. Love it all. I'm looking for a date on here, but I don't see a date, so I don't know how old this is. But, I mean, I don't remember it being released recently, but, I mean, trust me, I'm not the one to ask. Uh, Friends of the Mill Sampler. Oh, look at this. This was another one I saw in Kitten Stitchers and I had never seen before. This is Chessie and Me. I didn't, did I say that on the last one? It was also Chessie and Me. So this is Chessie and me, Friends of the Mill Sampler, love an American flag. Then here's the other one that I already showed, but now I have two of, so one will be a giveaway. A Plum Street Sampler Grace on the, this hits every happiness spot in my life. It has the big American flag. The red house has little quilt blocks. Oh, it's just perfect. It's perfection. Very good. Very good. Perfection. This is Sampler House 2 Plum, Plum Creek Samplers. And I'm trying to collect all these. What ones do I have? Let me look. I'm sitting here looking at my... I was updating my... Um, spreadsheet with my two new ones that I bought today and sampler house sampler house I only own two of them don't know how many there are but I own two of them now these I love anything that that um, Paulette right from Plum Street samplers any all of her biblical things I, I try to collect and this one is the flood. Eventually, I would like to have a whole wall with all of these kind of things on it. 
I'm looking at the sky because it is dark. It's just one cloud, so we don't get rain very often. This I got from Kitten Stitcher because it is um, her Choose Your Own Adventure, Sarah Work. Sarah Work? Yes. Shakespeare's Peddler. And it was a kit. So it has all this stuff. Oh, you can hear my Mastiff outside. We have a very large Mastiff. And um, he alerts us if anybody drives in. So... Oh, somebody's just coming. We have hay. People pick it up out of our barn. They, Anyway, so then I got a happy little package from Keepsake Quilting. If you ever want something kitted up or if you want something changed into silk, they are the people that you need to call. They are wonderful. Um, like I said, they did my um, Twin Peak Primitive Springfield sampler for me. I kitted up this. I ordered two charts from, you know, last year at the release, um, it's not Expo, what is it called? Needle, I can't think of anything. Salt Box Stitcher. That's the Florida lady that I was talking about, Isabella Fox. Ever since I saw um, her show her finished one, I fell in love. So that's who... See, I got one. Okay, uh, Needlework Expo. That was, that's the one that was online, right? Anyway, whatever it used to be. Whatever it used to be. Um, last year, I had to have everything. This year, there were really only a couple of things that I really uh, thought I needed, which is fine because look at all the other stuff that I bought. So it's, it's all good. A Quaker Dwelling. This is one of the ones that I love. This cat. It's a Kathy Barrett. This I love how it's Quaker, but don't you love how the the like the border, if you will, is monochromatic, and then so these inside colors just like shine. I think that is design genius right there. It, that's what that is. So I got this one. And I also bought this one, a Dutch sampler, and it's Kathy Barrick. I think she hit it out of the park. And I got this one. And then they hit it up all of the called for silks. And then these are the ones that I needed for this one that weren't NPIs. Then I think it calls for Havana, and they sent me, um, they said they were out of Havana. And they had straw. Well, straw is like like my go-to color for samplers usually. And um, because it's not too light, it's not too dark kind of a thing. So they went ahead and sent me this. And if I don't have Havana, then that's what I'll use. But anyway, so I got that happy package from them. Now, I showed all this last week, except what I bought today. So um, then when I went to the Tinsmith's Wife, have I shown those two packages? <laughs> I think I did. <sighs> oh no, they're down here. Okay, so the last time I went to the Tinsmith's Wife, I got um, fabric. And so I bought this 46 count Weeks Dye Works Aztec Red. And I bought this for the pattern that Scarlet House just came out and I picked it up because I ordered it while I was there. The Scarlet House Entwined Hearts. So that's the called for. So this is 46 count week style works. I also bought today the Belle Soise for this. So this is gonna be kitted up. I really wanna start this just because I love this red. So I bought that for this one. I bought this one. This is 36 count gun metal, and I'm hoping that this 36 count doesn't look as large as the other 36 count that I just could not finish. But these holes to me seem smaller, like closer together. I know that doesn't make sense, but I'm hoping it looks better. And I bought this. For this one. And I did a floss toss, and the floss looked amazing on it. Well, here, here they are. 
Don't they just pop right off there? So that was for this one. Then I also got, those were quarter of a yard. This one is a half yard, 46 count, and the color is linen, Weeks Dye Works linen. So I got that one. So today, I bought, also picked up this Scarlet House release, which I think is gorgeous. Roses for Ruby. Roses for Ruby. Scarlet House. Oh, Her charts are amazing. It does not matter. I, all of them are just amazing. Um, so this is all linen. Most of this is the linen. I'm pretty sure that I showed you that I picked up I, in my video that I erased from Kitten Stitcher. So because she has these cute little tags like this, they're like cardstock and she writes on the back and I'm going to use them in my journals because they'll make cute little tags. So this one is 46 count latte. Super pretty. This one is 46 count light drab. That's what it looks like. Light drab. Is that a color? I thought this one would be really pretty for that Scarlet House. Um, this one? But maybe it needs to be yellower. Do I have something? Oh, I have plenty, but... Anyway, oh, I also got the uh, Belle Soir and the silks for this one today. Super excited about that. This one is 36 count hog bristle. And I ordered this before the whole 36 count over here seeming so big. So it's half a yard. If it seems too big, I'll just have to give it away or I'll have to do something on that. This one is 40 count platinum and it's half a yard. I thought that was a good base for something that I could dye if I wanted to. This one is 46 count lamb's wool. It's kind of a, it has a pink undertone to it. It's really pretty. Um, this one is 46 count tin roof. Oh, I have to get my, all of my linens out tonight so I can put all these away and pull all for my kitted items. This one is 40 count drapple brown. Is that a color? Is that what I, am I reading this correctly? Drapple brown. It's super pretty. Again, this one has a slight pink undertone. I like that one. This one is 40 count winter brew. Good color for a sampler. This one is 40 count hot cocoa. Really like that one. 40 count gray sand. I mean, I'm a teacher, but this, I'm not sure about the handwriting here. If, if it's something else, somebody let me know what this is. But I, something, I don't know why, but I really liked this one. Look at this. It has like this yellow, like, isn't that really cool? I have to find the right piece for this. I just really like it. Okay, so that was my, did I get everything? Oh, well, these. Um, anything else down here? I think that's it. Okay, um, I also got, I showed this in the previous video. Um, someone told me about uh, Robin. She's, hold on, it's on here somewhere. Uh, oh, Robin in Stitches. Here we go, right here. Robin in Stitches on Etsy. And one of my viewers told me about, she sells wool applique kits and they're pretty inexpensive. And so she was correct. And so I got a couple. I'm going to, I think this is going to be my first project, my first wool project. I'm going to do it this weekend. I'm going to try one. Um, these are called Penny Rug Star Coaster Kits. I'm not going to make coasters. I'm not going to let anybody set a drink on these. Are you crazy? Um, I think I'm going to try to hang them on my seasonal tree that I keep in my bedroom. So, because they look kind of patriotic. So, I have that one. And I went ahead and picked up this one. It's Prairie Flowers. So, and it just has all the stuff. It doesn't have the thread but it has the, the actual wool. So I have plenty of embroidery uh, thread. I can try with it. 
Also, another thing that I'm doing is I am, oh well, hold on, I forgot. I also got my club from Traditional Stitches. I'm in the 100-3 Avera Swall Dash J. I get confused. The spools. And so I got five of those. Well, I already put them away and I have no idea what colors they were because they're already in the box that in which they belong. But I'm also in their Lakeside and R&R &R 40 Count Club. And this month I got Nantucket Brew. This was my R&R. &R. And then for Lakeside, I got Vintage Meadow Rue. Can't go wrong with Vintage Meadow Rue ever. So, last thing. Quilts. I am going to start a quilt. Um, I get a block of the month. And those of you who don't quilt, it, you can do block of the month clubs through certain quilt shops. And so instead of having to spend like two, three hundred dollars on a quilt for the, like the fabric and everything for a whole quilt, you can do it in like small payments every month and you just get like so many blocks a month. One, two, three, whatever that they, whatever their program is. And I do that through the quilt spot, which is in New Jersey. Wonderful, wonderful customer service. And so I think it's like my third block of the month through them. I am doing the dinosaur one. And I think I've mentioned it before for my grandson. Sometime I'll have to show you the blocks. But um, I don't want to put them on social media because I don't want his parents to see them. And because um, it's going to be a surprise. So I can show them on here. Nobody, um, I have one child, nope, two children that know I film these and um, I don't think they watch them so it's fine but so his dad doesn't watch but um, anyway but I'm doing another block of the month through the quilt spot and the quilt is called poor Helene and not like oh poor Helene but like in French p-o-u-r like for for Helen um, and so anyway, the quilt pattern, if you want to stitch along, is in Quilt Mania magazine. So you have to buy the magazine. And I do the digital mag magazine because I don't want the whole thing. I just want this one quilt pattern. Um, oh, this is part two. But you can see that there's embroidery in, in the blocks. So um, now the reason it's in French is because I think Quilt Mania, I think that the magazine actually is, oops, there I'm in the mirror again. Um, I think it is published in f France also. I know it's published in French, so the magazine will have French parts and English parts. And so this is all in English. It's not like you had to read French, which we're all happy about that, or I am. But the fabric actually comes from France also. There's only two uh, quilt shops in which you can get this fabric in the United States. Um, I have a list of them here. I can tell you. Hold on. So it's like here are the list of all the quilt shops in the world that have them. And in the United States, it's there's one in Missouri, Homestead Hearth. And I don't know anything about them. But then the other is the quilt spot. So here's the quilt spot and Homestead Hearth. So if you're interested in... Um, getting any of this fabric. I don't know if they have extra or if they only have the block of the months. I don't know how that works. But, um, so two parts have been released and I would like to get caught up. Of course, with shipping, they just now got everything. And so that's why we're behind. But I, I don't care. It's fine. Uh, it's not like I'm going to get in there and get it all done anyway. I would like to try to get it somewhat finished. But this is the fabric. So I don't know if you can see. These are not my colors. This pink and green but it sure is pretty fabric. So I just wanted to do something different. And with the embroidery, I'm, my mother, I hope will help because she's embroiders beautifully. And then I figure what sh uh, she doesn't know, I surely can find on um, YouTube. Now this blue, this is me. I do love some blue. And then we've gotten two packs now. And then here's some of the green. So I got that in the mail. So I hope this weekend to actually at least get part one completed. But it's actually um, has some angles and stuff. So I'm not sure. And you have to have templates and stuff. So we're going to see how that goes. Okay. That's it. That's all my stuff. And oh, I'm doing really well. 
very quickly, I talked about it, this in the video I deleted. I was thinking that I really would like to do some tutorials for different crafts. And because I love teaching, I'm a teacher, and I feel like you all have done so much for me. I would like to do something to give back. And now not everybody's going to want to watch them and that's fine. And so I'm just not sure how people would respond if I put my tutorial videos on the same channel as my floss tube. I know like the Fat Quarter Shop, they had a um, YouTube channel that was all about quilting. I've been following them for like ever. And then she slowly started getting in, into cross stitch. She's the one that brought me back to cross stitch. Now, our styles are nothing alike at all. Like in quilting or in cross stitch. I just like, I just enjoy watching them. I enjoy love ordering from them because they have phenomenal customer service. I'm all about customer service. So, um, but when she started putting some cross stitch stuff on the same channel. She had a lot of flack. Now here's the thing. She's got like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I'm pretty sure. So, um, I just don't know how my subscribers would feel if I put like a journaling tutorials or quilting tutorials on the same channel. I have filmed a journaling tutorial. Of course I deleted it. So I filmed it again and I'll show you. Um, I make this journal right here and, um, because I'm going to follow along with Margaret Miller, I think is her name. She does prompts for collaging and I thought it would be something fun that we could do together for those of you who are interested because I've had a lot of people say they loved the journaling tutorial and they would really like to try it. And so I thought this was something we could do together. Um, but I didn't know if it would like, you know, make anybody mad. So I'm going to go ahead and upload it. I'm going to upload this one first and then I will upload my journal tutorial probably tomorrow. Now my internet's horrible. So today is Friday and it is, I'm looking, it is 550. And so I will, I will have to watch it and make sure it all filmed. Okay. Um, I don't understand how I, I tried to edit, you know, I could put words if I need to. I don't know how people like, and here's a picture. I can't do that. I don't know how to insert a picture. Um, I can insert pictures at the end. I just can't figure out how to do them in between. And um, so like my journal tutorial is like an hour because I don't know how to edit out the stuff that it's fine anyway. I mean, but if, if you don't want to watch them, you don't have to watch them. I'm just going to put them out there for, you know, if only two people want to watch them and participate and participate with me. That'd be great. Um, I just, I love watching journal YouTube videos. So anyway, so it's going to go up tomorrow. Um, and hopefully it'll be well received. If not, then I can start a separate, like, you know, calculated stitcher crafts or something. And, um, because when I start my sew along this summer, I just need to know where I should post it if I need to, you know, have another channel or not. So I was just going to feel y'all out and see how you, what you thought. So anyway, I feel like this was very scattered because I'm still not sure what I've said and haven't said, but that's my channel. So, um, updates, I have, everything is about the same. My son, uh, thank you everybody for your prayers and well wishes. And so, you know, his heart, everything's fine. We just have to watch it. Then he hurt his knee skiing and he could not participate in track this year, which he was very bummed because he's a senior and that's his favorite sport. So, but it's okay. He did get to participate, participate in tennis this last Monday and he, he and his partner actually won first place. So they get to move on to regionals. It's the, let's see, the 16 teams in our region get to go and in his division. And so then there's four, so 24 carry the two for 64. So he's in the top 64 of the state. And so if he can advance from regional, uh, from regionals to state, then he'll be in the top eight in state. So we'll see how it goes. So he's excited 
and um, I'll let you know how it goes. I may put a picture at the end. Um, but I think that's all I have. School's coming to an end, wrapping it up, so it'll all be great. I really, really, really appreciate every single one of you. I love your comments. Um, I love hearing about your lives. I, I just think it's wonderful. So until next time, be kind to each other. Bye, Foss Tube.